Some lawmakers have called for a citizen-driven and inclusive permanent constitution to be enacted by the August House. The constitutional amendment bill has been discussed and passed at the Legislative Assembly and the consultation process will commence soon, according to the Unity Government. Lawmaker Peter Lamude said all South Sudanese should be allowed to participate in the civic education and public consultation to ensure their views are observed. This constitution-making process is very important for our country. The countries that have got their permanent constitution, they are characterized by stability, he said. The legislator believes that if the permanent constitution become inclusive, the country shall see stability. Lamude calls on the citizens to fully involve in the making process of the legislation to ensure their views are enshrined into the permanent constitution. I would like to make this appeal that as soon as the process commences, all the people of South Sudan all over the country, they should be able to participate in the civic education and public consultation to ensure that all their views are taken and incorporated into the permanent constitution that is going to be developed. Before independence in 2011, the National Legislative Assembly passed the interim constitution, which gave more powers to president of the soon-to-be new nation. This was amid concerns among international observers and civil society groups over the alleged allocation of excessive powers to the executive body of the government. At the time, U.S.-based think tank, Cater Center, urged the ruling SPLM party to demonstrate strong commitments towards an inclusive and participatory governance in South Sudan. But, the reigning parliamentarians, as well as former Minister of Information, Dr. Barnaba Mariel Benjamin denied the concerns that the interim constitution concentrates more powers to the executive organ of the government. However, the 2018 revitalized agreement mandates the unity government to review and amend the interim constitution into a permanent national constitution, taking into account the view of public as well as other stakeholders. Meanwhile, Samuel Lodi, a member of parliament, emphasized on the need to allow allow citizens to design how they want to be governed. This constitution is said to have, must be led and owned by the people of South Sudan, so that they have a better say on how they are going to be governed. All these services, all these insecurity issues the people of South Sudan has to say it and their participation in the process of constitution making is very very crucial for them to be able to determine how the future of this country is going to look. The parliamentarians spoke to iRadio's sundown program last evening 